Hello everyone, and welcome to this Wayward Art Company quick tip on animating curves with the hook modifier. And in this scene I have this robotic arm, and it has a very simple armature, which is just two bones, and then a third bone, which is the IK bone, and that's used to just control the whole arm. And in the instance that I would want a wire connected from one side of the arm to the other, I would use a curve uh, and then use a hook modifier to, to animate that curve. So uh, we'll type shift A and add a Bezier curve. And rather than edit this curve, I'll just tab into edit mode and then press X and delete all of those vertices. And then press T to bring up my toolbar and scroll down to create and then draw curve. And now my cursor has turned into a paintbrush and I can use the left mouse button to just draw the curve from one side of the arm to the other. And just to keep it simple, I'll delete some of these handles so that there's only four. Uh, that'll be easier to, to demonstrate the uh, hook modifier. Uh, and also I'll scale some of these handles up so that they're all generally the same size. Uh, so that'll make them easier to see. Maybe grab this handle and uh, position it so that the curve looks a little more uh, rounded and smooth. Okay, so that looks all right. Uh, so now we need to give our curve a shape. So we'll tab into object mode. and then type shift A and add a curve circle. So this circle will serve as the shape of our, of our wire. Uh, so if we select that curve and we go to our curve settings and underneath of bevel object, we can select Bezier circle and then select that curve circle and then tab into edit mode and scale it so that the the wire looks a bit thinner. And just so that the wire stands out a bit more, uh, maybe we'll select it and give it a uh, material so that we can see it a little more clearly. Uh, we'll click new and then just change the color to green. And so now we have this wire that stretches from one side of the arm to the other, but we haven't actually told Blender to assign it to the armature, to connect it to anything. So uh, in order to do that, we need to uh, first tab into edit mode. And then I'll select this handle at the bottom and press Control H on the keyboard. And then there are a few options here. For instance, you could parent to a bone if you chose, but I want to select hook to new object, which uh, will add a empty to the scene and parent that vertex to that empty. And then if I select the handle at the top as well and do the same, just select that whole handle and then type Control H and then hook to new object. That creates a second empty. And with that empty selected, we can hold shift and select the armature, which should select it in pose mode. Then we can select this top bone and press control P and select parent to bone. And now do the same for this first empty that we created. We'll select it and then hold shift select this bone and parent to that bottom bone in the arm. And so now if I select this IK bone and move the arm around, you can see that those handles that are applied to hook modifiers are following the armature, but the ones in the middle are not. So let's take a look at these hook modifiers. And so currently only the ends are really being controlled by these hook modifiers. Um, and it was my assumption that this radius value would increase the amount of the curve that was influenced by this modifier. But that doesn't seem to be true. 
perhaps it is for mesh objects, but it doesn't really influence curves this way. As you can see, if I grab the IK and move it around, it doesn't really affect any more of that curve uh, now that I've increased the radius. So we need to do something else to control the center of this curve. And it seems the best solution is to just select each handle and give them their own hook modifier. So I'll select each of these handles and press Control H and then select Hook to New Object, which gives them each their own empty. And now I'll parent each empty to the bone that they're closest to. So uh, the bottom empty I'll parent to the bottom bone, the, the top empty I'll parent to the top bone. And now if I move this IK around, uh, the wire seems to be completely influenced by the IK bone, so much so that rather than intersecting with itself, it actually creates this little loop in the center. And while initially it may seem like a disadvantage to have to apply hook modifiers to each of these handles, in the end it really makes it more convenient to animate because uh, now if your wire intersects with any part of itself or the mesh, uh, you have complete control over it by using these control points, which are these empties you can just move one way or the other, uh, and that will uh, give you a little more control over the end result of the animation. And as you can see here, just by changing the location of those empties only slightly, it will dramatically change how that curve bends as you're moving that IK bone uh, back and forth, it will give it a, a totally different effect as it's animating. So it's, it's very cool to have that control in the middle. So that's it for this quick tip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in some of the other projects I'm working on, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And I have many more of these little quick tips planned, so I will be uploading more soon. Thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next one.